In this episode of Ride with Two Indians, Barbara looks amazing, and we find out what her greatest uh, fear uh, is. No, I, I act stupid, dude. <laughs> And we see the cutest puppy in the entire world. Come on, let's go for a ride. Hey, it's Brian and Barbara with two Indians. Whee! That's my girl. Do I look cool? <laughs> okay. What's up, guys? What's we up? we are going on a trip. We're going to Sturgis. No. No. We didn't get the time off from work. I thought we were going to Sturgis. No. I no. wish. We really want to see all y'all. Yeah, definitely. We would love to be heading out to Sturgis this week, uh, but it's just not in the cards. It takes too much time to get out there. We just don't have it away from work. But we are going to get away for Miss Barbara's birthday. Yep. And uh, we are going to the cute and quaint and tropical town. Who is it tropical, by the way, here right now? <laughs> it is very tropical. Oh my God. It's so humid this morning. We're going to the town of Dunedin, Florida, which is over by Clearwater Beach on the west coast of Florida. And it's a cool little town with some great bars and breweries and nightlife. Now, with the COVID thing, I don't know really how good it's going to be. What do you think? I don't know, but they have a rooftop bar. Yeah, the hotel we're at, called the Fenway, yes. is famous. if I can't be in Boston, might as well bring Boston to me. Boston? Rooftop bars? Is that what you're talking Fenway. about? Fenway. Oh, Fenway. <laughs> It's too early in the morning for him. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes the old wheels aren't turning and there is only two of them in here. So we're glad you guys are coming with us. So let's go for a little ride. You ready? Let's go. Are you ready? Too. See you on the road. Now instead of taking the fast way all the way down to Tampa and then up to Clearwater area, we decided to take the back roads all the way across state, which instead of a two hour ride turns it into a four hour ride. But oh what a ride it is. Well we got separated at a light. Barbara likes to hang back a little ways from me. You know, we see something with your name on it, with an unusual last name like mine, you gotta stop, right? Exactly. Yeah. So what do you think we're gonna find in here? An outpost. <laughs> well, everybody thinks of theme parks and big city when they think of city of Orlando, but it's mostly cattle, horse farms, and nurseries, and of course, pot farms these days. But that all means country and Western wear. Now, I love me a good pair of cowboy boots. This is a little too fancy for me. Now, what is ranch candy? I've never heard that before, but I'm starting to understand. Yep. God, I hope Barbara's not looking. Hang on a second. <clears throat> nope. Do, 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 do. I'm not doing anything. I'm just having a conversation here. In case you're wondering, that Y is for Yellowstone. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, here she comes. Uh, uh, give me one of these gun things here. Yeah, I need that. Uh, never mind. Hey, check this guy out, honey. He's pretty cool. Looks like somebody had to go grocery shopping. It's hot. It is way hot. But we're almost there. 
we're starving. We've been on the road for about three hours. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do us a favor and hit the like button. Or subscribe if you like. We really appreciate it. So after we checked in, we had to move our bikes around back. <laughs> I left my stupid mask on. This was the first time Barbara ever rode her motorcycle without a helmet on. And as soon as we parked around back, she came up to me and she goes, Oh my God, I can't believe how comfortable it is to ride without a helmet. But that was the last time she rode without a helmet. After we checked in, we got our comfy tourist clothes on and headed downtown because it was after 2 o'clock already and we were starving. Must have air conditioning. Well, the Old Bay Cafe is just a few blocks from the Fenway, so we stopped in there for a quick appetizer and some great views, but unfortunately the food wasn't as good as the views, so we got out of there quick and went downtown to do a little bit of shopping. popped over to CC Riders for some more refreshments and quite frankly we were really tired after that so we went back to the hotel to chill for a little bit ready to go in? but I wanted to ride. So it's about five o'clock we're getting ready to run out and just do a quick ride we thought maybe it would have cooled down a little by now. You'd think I, I live in Florida and I would understand all this but I mean look at this it's a hundred degrees I mean are you crazy <laughs> all right I think we'll just run up the uh, intercoastal here look at the water Ooh, I like looking at water I like looking at you oh how pretty it is it is nice, isn't it? It is, indeed. So this is Bayshore Drive, I think, here. It is. Look at that trolley. We ought to get on that. What do you think about that? I said that earlier. I know. Oh, Lord, that... Whoa, hang on. Damn. That uh, breeze feels good when you're moving. The fuck? Sorry. What Thank God. I said, what the fudge sickles? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get the camera on the water. Oh, okay. And then uh, I guess and I was... And you look back and then you see me stopping. Yeah. Listening. I love the palm trees. Yeah, they're really nice, huh? Yeah. These are royal palms, I think is what they're called. Probably. Look how tall they are. They are huge. Those have got to be 60 feet, 50 feet. So we're just leaving Dunedin and we're heading south to the causeway. And if you look over here to our right, that is Clearwater Beach. Oh, it definitely feels cooler than earlier. Yeah. I guess. Well, we are moving. That has something to do with it. Wait until we hit a red light and see if you still think it's cooler. No, don't make me stop. <laughs> so why we are we these... going to clear water? I don't know. We're just going to go buzz around. Look at this tree. Yup. Which lane are you going in, sweetheart? I have no idea. I don't know where the heck you're going. Hey, wait. There's a big bridge over there, and we're not going to be on that one. Actually, we are. Oh, we are? It merges. Well, what do you think? What do I think about what? 
Where are we supposed to go? Ah, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will. So stay here, and then this is gonna go left. Uh, yeah, we go left up here. Or around a circle? No, we're just gonna stay straight. This is going over. This gets on the bridge, right? Yes. Yes, there we go. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> no, I don't like bridges. Oh, uh, you'll be fine. Oh look, there's, there's an, an aquarium, aquarium here. <laughs> You're so funny. That's why you love Barbara, me. Barbara is like, sometimes she doesn't understand that I'm doing stuff for the camera. Wow, the water's really nice. The only thing I don't like about tourist town is nobody knows where they're going. Yeah, us included with that, yeah. Surfside Tap House. Ooh, bubbles yeah, and bags. There's all kinds of cute, cute shops and stuff around here. A lot of cute shops. Guys walking around without shirts on. You won't catch me doing that. No <laughs> siree. You won't catch me doing that either. <laughs> This isn't that kind of place, honey. We have to wait until we go somewhere else. <laughs> nice outdoor bar there. Got some live music here. This dude's carrying a guitar around. This looks like a cool little place to hang out, walk around, two cans bar and grill. Wow, look at all this stuff. Um. What? There were tourists or yeah, pedestrians there was, trying there was no to cross. Flashing light. Look at there all was this. a flashing light. Oh, was there? Yeah. So, let it be known that Brian is notorious oh, for doing this. Doing what? <laughs> Running through pedestrians. Yeah, <laughs> pedestrian we have pedest walks. <laughs> yeah, we have pedestrian crosswalks here in Florida, and usually they have a flashing light with it, and if it's flashing, that means if you're on a vehicle, you should uh, stop. <sighs> Barbara, that was a yellow light. See, you're doing this on purpose. I'm not. <laughs> See, I'm stopping for this pedestrian. Now, that is not a homeless person. That's just somebody that's coming from the beach. <laughs> we have so much shit when we go to the beach. That's how we do it. We put it all in a little cart, little wagon, little collapsible wagon. All right, I'm going to flip a Yui here. A Yui? I'm not good at Yui's. All right, I'm going to turn left. Here, I'm going to turn into this parking lot. We're going to turn lot. left. We're going to turn left. See, she did it again. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? She just, she cannot find a way to cooperate with me. Where did you go? We're like 10 blocks away from each other now. I just crossed the Alabama border. And she's... She's down in Naples now. <laughs> there she is. All right, this guy's going to let us go. That's awful nice of him. Don't hit me. I'm not going to hit you. Don't you hit me. All right, I'm tempted to stop at one of these little taquerias or whatever and have a frozen cocktail. Oh, I'm sure they have club soda because I'll drink club soda with how many limes, honey? Three limes. Three limes. If, if you guys ever bump into us and you see Barbara, or if you see Barbara alone at a bar, which someday you might because she'll probably divorce me eventually. <laughs> Never. But her drink of choice is a club soda with three limes and a shot of tequila. But not when I'm riding. Not when we're riding. That's right. We never drink when we ride, except for most of the time. No, you do. I'm just kidding. You know what we ought to do? What should we do? 
is we've probably bored our viewers long enough. Maybe go back to the hotel. We'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, let's and, go to the hotel. They have a nice rooftop bar. And then in, in the next few seconds, we're going to snap our fingers and then we'll be somewhere else. Exactly. Just like this. <laughs> Supposed to say two? I did. I didn't, didn't hear, it. hear it. No. Two. Oh, okay. My trademark. Two. Gave it to me. Those weren't so sugary. It is so sweet under the sun. And even if my pocket's empty, I don't really want to. So a lot of times when we're out having fun, I don't really want to shoot video. I just want to have fun. And sometimes I start taking photos, and that's what I did up here. We went down onto the lawn outside and caught some live music, which is a regular daily event here at the Fenway. But the lighting was getting absolutely perfect, so we went down to the water to grab some photos, and I caught some great images of these pilings as the sun was setting. The colors were just amazing. And I happened to catch this guy coming up out of the water with this kayak and these photos came out great. And of course, Barbara is just gorgeous, so love taking pictures of her. I mean, how could you ask for a better ending to a fantastic day? Well, because Barbara is married to such a stud muffin, she likes to get to bed early. But the next day, we got out I need and to wanted to bed. see the town again. And so we went back to the same places. There's Barbara working. She's always working. Going to visit the Ministry of Magic. But she did get to sniff some candles and then we popped into this waterside furnishings just on a whim. And this is where we get to see Dexter, the world's most incredibly cute puppy. Look at this little guy. She fell in love with him right away. She's been wanting another dog since our last dog passed. And I'm the old curmudgeon, and I say, no, we can't have one. But this guy just grabbed our hearts, chewed on our fingers, and really made us think about it. But I said, no, Dexter didn't like that. Anyway, we walked back to the hotel, and we laid by the pool a little bit after that, and just kind of chilled for the rest of the day. There wasn't much nightlife in downtown Dunedin uh, because of the COVID thing. So we don't have a lot of video, or any video of that, to be honest. But uh, we did enjoy ourselves and had a great time. And the next morning we woke up super early to go try and catch the sunrise. Because nothing looks better on the water than a rising sun. You know, we were running a little behind schedule and I was getting a little irritated because we kept getting caught in little bits of red lights. But we finally got to the causeway. And I think you can agree with me that it was well worth getting up early. You know, like I said in the other video, if you want to see the sunrise, you got to get up. This shot really reminds me of the keys here. So anyway, guys, hey, we really appreciate you watching this video. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more great content just like this. We're also on Facebook and Instagram at Ride With Two Indians. Barbara puts a lot of content up on Instagram, and I work on Facebook mainly, so it's a little competition. But just to leave you with the last thought here, you know, when you have a great weekend and you're riding into the sun in the morning, you realize there's so much potential ahead of you and there's so many great memories behind you. 
Go out and take the adventure, guys. Get off your butts. Have some fun. Enjoy life while you can. Because you never know what's going to happen.